What do you think? Good. Morning, everybody. It's Thursday, October 20th, 2016, and I'm getting ready to head into work for the day. Uh, I am just letting the car warm up for a few minutes. And what's going on here? Not much. Been working uh, over the past week or two to pay down or pay off my credit card. And um, I was just thinking today, I might as well cash out some of my earnings officially. Pay off my credit card, and then I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then maybe uh, dump some of that money into my savings. I was trying to debate on if I should um, kind of set it aside, that money, and keep it aside to um, reinvest or trade or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's smart to carry a balance on a credit card just uh you know i'm going to be paying interest on um going to be paying interest on my credit card while trying to make essentially make that interest back by mining or trading or whatever so um i am trying to figure out still what's going on with one of my cards so for about a week now one of my cards has been down and I just um, ordered some adapters. I think they're coming today or tomorrow so I can try them on a different machine um, <coughs> and hook them up to a, an actual monitor or something. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, Vicky is coming to town this weekend and Saturday I mentioned before but we have four shoots and she's going to um, look into or look at apartments while I'm doing those shoots. Uh, after work today, I gotta drive all the way home to let Sophie out. After I do that, then I need to um, head all the way to Luke's house. And it's gonna be a long day. I only got about five hours of sleep or so last night. I was up uh, playing Delta Wars with my teammates and we took another three bases on map 238 so they were all lost bases which was our old team and basically it's just the two leaders of lost um, trying to make it you know whatever make make 238 still work for them or whatever those are the guys that kind of screwed us and my old buddies over when we were in that team or on that team so now we have like this personal vendetta against these guys. Um, there's five of us that are on the new team together that were um, from the old team. Probably more, but a core group of five guys. It's me, uh, Ray, Biggs, uh, Shane, and Charles. So... Um, but out of those five, there's about three of us that are active. It's me, Big, and Ray. Ray, Big, and I. Um, <clears throat> so we, um, Big and I, last night worked on uh, 238 a little bit more. So what I'm trying to do is just take one base each day and slowly whittle them away. <coughs> Spent a lot of money playing this game this week. Um, I need to come up with a different way to play the game or something. I keep saying that. But uh, other than that, not much going on. I'm, I just can't, I'm really excited. I can't wait for Vicky to move here because, like, once that happens, we're both going to be able to save some money. Um, gas isn't cheap it's expensive to drive three plus hours each way every other weekend <clears throat> especially when you're rocking a sports car that requires premium gas um, okay let me see what, what Luke says he's gonna sell his 85 
He's gonna cash out his mining and then he's gonna buy an R50. So I guess he came up with an idea or solution for his um, lens situation. Uh, <clears throat> what else is going on? That's about it. I'm I'm just tired. I got like I said, I got about five hours of sleep. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is new. Not too much. We're gonna try to figure out plans for the weekend and stuff. We gotta celebrate, um, you know, Vicky's new job and all that good stuff. Other than that, yeah, I suppose I'll cut it short here. So stay tuned for more. What's going on? Just getting out of work for the day, and I am headed um, home first, and then um, I gotta let Sophie out. And I'm thinking of stopping maybe at Aldi or somewhere on the way home and picking up some muffins. And Luke asked if I could bring some Diet Coke. And then... Um, so stopping at Aldi, stopping home to let the dog out. And after then, I'm headed over to Luke's house. So it's gonna be a long night, late night. And yeah, not much going on today. It was a busy day at work. I got a lot of projects going on at work. And um, just trying to keep, keep caught up with them, stay on top of everything. I had to come up with a quote for a uh, physical install. And been working on it for days. I think I finally got it figured out, so submitted that to the vendor. Um, not much else going on, man. I just uh, spent like an hour today figuring out the visitation schedule for Grant's winter break. So he's off from school December 22nd through January 5th. And we're supposed to like split those days up or whatever. Um, and it just sucks because like <coughs> I get them Christmas Eve this year, which is, um, you know, so Christmas Eve and New Year's are in between or in the middle of the damn winter break. And his mom gets them for Christmas Day and then New Year's Eve holiday. And it just kind of screws everything up. So, uh, looks like from what I can't, could come up with, I don't think I'm going to have them for like a solid week, which would be nice if like, it's, it's, let's, let's say it's like 10 days or something. It'd be nice if I could have them for five days straight and then his mom could have them for five days straight. But with the holidays that fucks it up, it breaks up the, the blocks. So it's looking like I'm going to have them that Thursday, Friday, uh, she'll have them Saturday, how does that work? I think I'll have them Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday is Christmas Eve, I believe. She would have him Sunday for Christmas Day, all the way through, um, like New Year's Day, 8 p.m. And then I would get him on the first at 8 p.m. and have him like the second, third, fourth. And then I would drop them off at school on the 5th, the morning of the 5th. So I get them for like two days before Christmas in a, in a row. She has them for a solid week. And then I would get them for like three days um, uh, after the new year, after the 1st. So uh, we'll see what she says. I don't know. They, they um, I don't know. I wish there was an easier way to do some of these things, but I'm tired. I only got about five hours of sleep last night. Um, not much else going on, man. It's just been a uh, it's been a crazy busy week. 
that it's because of that it's gone by so fast check this out this is a uh, that's the previous car that I owned in silver mine was red but uh, so yeah I guess that's about it I'm gonna ping Vicky let her know that I'm uh, on the road here see if she wants to talk and other than that yeah and that's all that's going on so stay tuned for more all right, uh, I already stopped at Aldi, and now I'm home for a few minutes to let Sophia. Look at how pretty this is with the, uh, the trees and the leaves. So I have to, I'm getting worried, but I want to use these leaves to do a, um, every year I do a, like a photo shoot with Grant, and I just write how old he is in the leaves. But um, I had a question for you guys. Have you ever seen someone do something and you're like I don't know if that's dumb or this person's a genius and smart as hell so I just got home and I got a package here it's, it's right there and whoever delivered it looks like they literally used my pumpkin to either hold it from blowing away or something so the pumpkin was up here and now it's back here but it's not touching so I don't know what they were doing oh I forgot to mention so Vicki went and um, she was looking into um, apartments today so cause she's gonna be um, moving here in like like two weeks or so um, like two weeks from Monday and um, she called up the place that she had really liked it's actually near and right by my work but she, um, they actually had the unit available that she wanted, and they even had the uh, type of unit that she wanted. She wanted one on the second floor. The second floor ones have skylights in the in the ceilings, and they actually had that. So a single bedroom, one bath, um, really awesome. So it's good when things go as planned or as desired. So good to have some good news so also got an update from my brother situation he had an issue going on with his eye um, and uh, it was really scary really uh, not good but uh, the doctors helped him out they took care of it and we just got some really good news today from my sister-in-law he had a follow-up appointment so they uh, undid some stitches for his eye and uh, opened up his eye again for the first time in like I want to say it's like three weeks his eyes been so so shut and uh everything's good so that's good it, health problems are never fun with anything so um he's been off work due to this and, and all that so life's been upside down but uh seems to be everything's working out for everyone so that's good um other than that, I am now headed from home to Luke's house. I had ordered an adapter cable for the graphics card to try the graphics card out in a different computer at my house. And I ordered the, the wrong damn cable. So, I had to reorder it again. So I just ordered it now. The other one's supposed to come on Sunday. <coughs> Maybe I'll ask Luke if he has any of these uh the cables that i'm looking for but uh yeah so i was watching a video on how amazon does their stuff at their fulfillment centers so like i had ordered hangers clo clothes hangers for grant so like kids ones toothpaste and this cable and they all came in the same box and i was watching this video online about how uh, amazon does their their packaging and all that at their fulfillment fulfillment centers and it's all robotic it's all automated and I think they said like human interaction is like 10 seconds or less I think they just tape the boxes shut and like make sure that the, the items are correct but uh, amazing stuff so um, that's it and I gotta give Vicky a call back so stay tuned for more hey hey what's happening I am headed home from Luke's and we didn't really do much tonight. We more 
or more or less hung out. Uh, Ash made dinner. She made some chili and some cornbread, and it was amazing. Uh, Luke's parents were there when I got there. And I don't know, you know, it, Luke and I don't really hang out that much, so tonight was a good, good time. Um, we basically were kind of talking about prime lenses and all that. So prime, a prime camera lens is any lens that doesn't zoom. Um, so like our 24 to 70s, our 70 to 200s, our 17 to 35s, those are zoom lenses. Prime lenses are stuck one focal length so like a 50 millimeter that I have Luke has an 85 millimeter he also has a hundred millimeter macro those are all prime lenses um, but so he had some questions you know he, he wants to get rid of his 85 and get a, a, a 50 art lens and I own a 50 I, I love my 50 I use it quite a bit um, the good thing about prime lenses is you can um, Typically, they're faster than zoom lenses. Faster meaning they can collect more light than a zoom lens. So they have larger aperture sizes, all that stuff. So um, what I was telling him was, you know, he wants to get rid of his 85, ultimately to get another 85. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah, that's cool, whatever, of course. Like he wants to, you know, buy a better version of the 85 which, you know, I don't have a problem with, but I'm like, dude, you don't even use your 85. How do you even know that that's what you want or like? Like, what what uh, what Luke does is he looks, he spends all day looking at reviews and <coughs> other people's images and looks at their settings and wants to mimic that. Um... I said, dude, take out your lens and use it. It'll be good. It'll be great. <coughs> so he's like, well, uh, let's try it out. Excuse me, I'm like coughing and choking or something. So he's like, wow, man, I can't focus that close with my lens. He's trying to focus on something on his desk right in front of him. I was like, how do you not know that? I'm like, that's, we do that, we run into that problem with my 50 all the time. I'm like, how often do you use your 85? I was like, I never use it, because it's not an L glass. I'm like, well, just use it. <clears throat> I'm like, practice with it, get used to it, have a good time with it. And <clears throat> you might determine like, dude, an 85 is too long. It's too long of a lens. Like. When I bought my 50, I was shooting on a crop body, and everyone says, well, you gotta get a 50. 50 is the way to go. 50 is the lens to have. Uh, buy that first. And I'm trying to remember back. I think the 50 was my first lens that I bought, but um, <clears throat> the thing was, um, back then I was shooting a cropped body, so I had a crop zoom factor of 1.6. What that means is with a crop body, any lens you put on there, it magnifies that focal or uh, that length by 1.6. So when you put a 50 millimeter on a crop body, it almost makes it like an 85. So indoors, it was horrible. It was too much of a zoom indoors. Now that I got my full body, it's a true aspect ratio or, or whatever. So when you put a 50 on it, it's actually 50 millimeters. Um, so anyway, like, so we had, we were running around and around and around in circles over all this stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm like, dude, like, I'm not arguing about like getting a better lens. Like, no doubt. Yeah, sure. But I'm like, you don't even use the one you have. And, you know, what's the point of buying a better, more expensive version of something and then still not using it? Like, you know, that's what he does with his wide angle. He bought a wide angle because, uh, I'm pretty sure he bought his wide angle after I bought mine. Like, I really wanted a wide angle. I picked up a cheap, shitty, off-brand named one because I knew I wouldn't use it very often at all. 
And uh, so he went out and bought the latest, greatest version of it, of the Canon one. <clears throat> but he never uses it. So where I'm going with this is I'm like, dude, like, let's get used to shooting primes. And I told him, like, you got to be really careful shooting a prime. Because, like, he's, he's, he, like, every time we're shooting, he'll always be like, hey, what are you shooting at? What are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, F8 or whatever, or F5.6. He's like, well, why are you shooting like that? And I'm like, well, because I don't want to miss focus. So he's like, well, let's look at some images from other people. So he starts pulling up all these images, and they give you on the, this one website that we uh, we use or, or, or people post their artwork on, they give you all the camera settings. And it's the lens that he wants, but they're shooting it closed down. They're not shooting the lens wide open. And he's like, huh, huh, okay, huh. And he's like realizing, I'm like, why do you think they're doing that? And he's like, oh, well... Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I guess because, you know, all this and that. I'm like, no, because it's it's better closed down. So it was a good learning experience. But uh, and ultimately, Luke's going to go out and buy the best whatever. Like, that's cool, great, whatever. I mean, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying, like, dude, <clears throat> get more practice. See what works. See what doesn't work. Um he's like handicapping himself and that's what frustrates me or pisses me off I'm like he's like well I'm not going to use it because it's not L glass and I'm not going to use it because the reviews say that it's not as good as the one that's three times the price and I'm not going to use it because of this and that and whatever I'm like just use it man like damn it doesn't matter like shoot it have fun with it practice and go from there like I don't, I don't know so I think we're on the same page. You know, he made a comment. He's like, you know, we got to work on getting more creative and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's why I'm changing lenses on the go and, and doing more with lighting and, and all that this year. And he's still in his rut of, you know, I'm going to stick with one lens, keep it on my camera all day, and then later on be pissed that all my images look boring and look the same and look whatever and I'm just like I don't know what to tell you dude like I, <laughs> I don't know I'm like you have two prime lenses you have the 85 and 100 so use them just use them shoot shoot fucking portraits with the 100 whatever he's like well yeah but it's not L and my 7200 can do that and I'm like I don't know what to tell you dude like try it out man um one of the photographers that I really like, his name is Roberto Valenzuela, and one of his favorite lenses to shoot portraits, even with all, you know, any lens at his disposal, he loves the 100 macro, and he said, try it out, he said, you know, put, put your subject in, in different areas of the frame with all of your lenses, and see how distorted they look in all the different lenses, and... It's true. Obviously, it's true. Like, for instance, like the selfie camera built into cell phones. Those are all wide-angle cameras, essentially. And when you tilt the camera down like this, it stretches out everything or compresses it to the point where it makes anyone and everyone look skinny. So, it's that concept. But, um... I don't know, I don't know how I got off on this tangent. I'm tired, I'm just gonna try to keep talking so I stay awake so I can get home. But, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's just one of those things where like, he just bangs his head against the wall, and I try to, you know, give him some guidance or some tips or whatever, and he's, obviously he's gonna do whatever he wants to do. But, uh, yeah, I was hoping he would upgrade his 85, I'll take his old one, fuck, I don't, give a shit you know I'll buy it for cheap and mess around with it you know 85 is the typical standard outdoor portrait lens it like I said it doesn't quite work well for indoors or tight spaces but um, yeah so anyway I doesn't matter to me man <laughs> so he uh, I don't know what he's going to do, but uh, we're going to figure it out. So he wants to switch totally over to Primes, 
and I'm just like whatever like the, the, the thing is we shoot together so a lot of this stuff to get the same look and feel we have to have the same gear unfortunately or fortunately like that's the natural progression of photographers once you get all the standard zoom lenses then and you master them let's it, call it what it is they're tools You're, you master them <laughs> then the natural step up after that is to go towards primes. So, I mean, we're headed there. I mean, I've had my prime for four or five years, I'm guessing. Maybe even longer. I'm trying to think if I got that before or after Grandma was born. But, um, like, it is what it is. Like, it, everything's different this year. And we also were talking about style and stuff like that. Like our images don't have a consistent look to them. Like some other photographers or artists, you just like look at an image and you're like, oh, that looks like Jake Olson's. And he's like, it actually is Jake Olson. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's part of the artistry of this craft is coming up with your own look and feel and branding and all that stuff. Let me let me cut this clip short here so many. Alright, here we go. We're building some boost. But um so we had some good conversations, good talks, hashed some stuff out. He was like, you know, we even broke out the camera and we did some test shoots, some test shots with the 85. Um, he is so, um, I don't even know what it's called, but like he puts so much stock and faith into reviews and articles and, and examples rather than just testing stuff out itself. And you know, it's, let's be honest, like looking at masters work or artwork and having the same tools you're not going to get the same results and likewise you can give a master shitty tools and they're still going to make some beautiful stuff so uh but i told him i'm like dude we don't have the experience yet of um you know decade a decade or more of work under our belt to like where we're going to have our own defined and carved out style and, and feel look and feel and all that like we just we're not there yet and it sucks because that's the one thing that you can't you cannot force you can't there's there's it, it's just one of those things and, and your style and all that will change as the years go by or tweak or, or whatever and you know like Luke's looking back at work we just did not even two years ago and he's like man that is terrible I'm like I didn't like it when we did it but you were into that so but it it's that's it's growing and all that stuff and we edit our shit together so it's not just him it's us so I agree though totally like we need to work on our style we need to come up with a, a, a signature look and feel we're self-taught like most of the shit that Luke knows I taught him or, or at least explained to him and then he like learned on his cell on his own but like we haven't taken formal classes or courses or trained under other photographers or anything like that and because of that we're not, I, in my personal opinion, we're not that good. Good, maybe this guy will get off my ass. Thanks. <coughs> but, um, so it's all good stuff to talk about, hash out, try to, like, you know have some goals or perspective on like where we need to go what we need to work on and all that like 
Luke's worried that we're just gonna kind of get comfortable now, because we are comfortable, let's be honest, and just kind of keep doing the same stuff. And, you know, I, there's a lot of things or areas where I'm always like kind of waiting for him to catch up with where I'm at or where I'm thinking. And that's a huge one. Like, that's why I got the pixel stick. And that's why uh, two years ago I was doing sparkler sh shots. And what else? I was doing uh, digital paintings and stuff. Like I'm testing things out and doing other things and, and more or less trying to find other ways and, and things to do to make the shoots fun. It might not work out and we know it, but uh, uh, what are those cats in the road? <clears throat> but, um, and it's, it's not, I'm not talking shit about Luke at all. It does, this doesn't have anything to do with him. It's, we're all progressing and learning at different rates and all that. Like, there's so much that I want to try to do and I have no clue how to do it. And that's what amazes me with photography or, or a lot of things, but particularly with photography. You know, when you first get into photography, you look at images and stuff and you're like, That's, I can do that, it's not bad. And so you try to do it and you realize like, wow, that's not as easy as I thought it was. So you uh, start to learn if you're ambitious to figure out how do they accomplish this or how do they pull this off or do that or, or whatever. And where I'm going with this is, like, eventually you come to learn, like, there's a lot more work that goes into, let's say, even one particular image than you realize. Like, I would think, like, oh, they must just, you know, kind of do a basic edit, throw it in Photoshop, you know, dodge, burn, maybe, whatever, but man stuff that people are doing and the, the, the high profile people you know they've been doing it for 10, 20, 30 years they don't share those secrets they tell you stuff but the stuff they tell you is shit that they did 20 years ago or whatever or one piece of the recipe and so where I'm going with this is like we all learn at different rates, at different speeds, at different times. Some take formal classes while others are self-taught. Like, uh, for instance, even Ashley. Ashley's taken an actual class. I can guarantee you she's learned a bunch of things in that class that I don't even friggin' know. Because I'm self-taught, self-learned, whatever. And, you know, so like the stuff that I think I'm awesome at and like let's say Luke is terrible at it's that way with other areas or aspects or whatever and obviously I'm colorblind too so with me being colorblind other things are really simple to him and it's death to me it's terrible it's horrible to me for me to, to do so um <clears throat> That's, that's, that's my favorite part of photography. And, you know, like, there's an old saying that says, you know, um, newbies worry about uh, cameras, uh, amateurs worry about lenses, and masters worry about light. And it's, it's true. What, what the basic understanding of that is, doesn't matter what gear you have. You can master light, you can master art or imagery or any of that stuff. <clears throat> and that's that's how it's been for me, for us. When we first started, we were doing way more Photoshop. Way more intense, heavy editing, all that stuff. Now, it's way quicker, way faster, way easier. And more importantly, or most importantly, 
we're getting it right in the camera. We're pretty much spot on right in the camera to the point where we don't have to edit them that much. That's the huge difference between now and when we started. So, <clears throat> it was a good night. It was a good night. And I picked some ideas to, to Luke of things that I've always wanted to learn how to do and asked him if he knew how to do it. He said, no, no, no. So, <coughs> Googled it, found out there, there's a firmware hack that you can do on your camera that would potentially allow you to do this thing that I want to do. <clears throat> but, uh, so it, it, it was a good time tonight. It was, it was a good time. It, it's always, like when him and I actually like hang out, but like work, like meaning like we're trying to work, but we're like figuring stuff out or, or bouncing ideas back and forth. It's always a great learning session. So, um, it was a good, it was a good day, good night. But I'm exhausted as hell. I'm so tired. Let me cut this. Keep cutting these clips because I don't know if the camera's gonna die, if it's not gonna save the clips or whatever. So that's why I'm doing that. Um. <clears throat> So it is 10.07 right now. I'm probably gonna get home in about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And not sure what, what the agenda is for tonight. I'm tired. Uh, I mentioned it before, I ordered the wrong adapter for my graphics card. So I gotta deal with that. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's been quite a busy week. It's been thrashing all week long. So, um, <clears throat> that's about it. So, things are going to be a lot better, I'm hoping, with Vicky moving here. She's going to be here for Thanksgiving. She's going to be here for um, Christmas, New Year's. And it's awesome. I'm really excited. So, we can kind of start our life, lives together, and more time together. So, I always, uh, I'm one of those people that is a big advocate of, you know, you don't really know someone unless you, or until you live with them. So, like, yeah, everyone puts up this front, this wall, and whatever, but, like, until you actually live with someone, and you're, like, in the shit day in day out you don't really know someone so hoping for the best and I'm uh, really excited really optimistic about everything and yeah so I'm, I'm happy so but tired I'm really tired right now so I think I'm gonna cut it off for the night I'm gonna go home, maybe play my game for an hour or so, and then uh, that's it. I'm beat. I gotta get some sleep. So, stay tuned for more, and have a good night.